Hello, everybody, and welcome to Quest of Chaos, which is brought to you by the letter Q for quests and the letter C for chaos. Today, we're Q playing Icewood Dales, uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Uh, apparently, we're getting more nasally as we go, and it's super exciting that we're back, everybody. And uh, yeah, I don't remember how to do this stuff anymore, so much so that I became a Quoka kidding yeah i know i'm right here yeah don't worry about it y'all i'm still here it's good um but yeah welcome welcome uh we are playing rhyme of the frost maiden icewind dale today um we're back we're back and uh last time you know uh we had a i think first actual player death in a dungeons and dragons game in quest and chaos which is super exciting and super sad but you know as the title says the current goes where it goes. Um, but before we see uh, the aftermath of said death and the what how the, the what it does to our adventurers, we got some announcements. Of course, we got to shout out our good friends at Nord Games. Nord Games has, creates all this supplementary material to make your games awesome. They got books, they got decks, they got dice, and a whole smorgasbord plethora uh, words that I often use um, for you to you to make your games awesome. And if you use the affiliate link, nordgamesllc.com forward slash three dot HTML, you're gonna help us out. You're gonna help them out. And if you use the coupon code chaotic20, okay, yes, chaotic20 <laughs> at checkout, you will help yourself out to 20% savings another good friend of our show, uh, one of our very own of the community, um, saw them on uh, Swords and Sages a few episodes ago, uh, Andrea of the Birds and Birds of Paradise. Yes, yes, yes. Making custom dice based off of birds as well as Arizona and I did not know this, but also cabbages because cabbages, my cabbages. So check out birdsofparadise.com and use the coupon code chaotic to get yourself 15% off. Last friend of the show, besides you friends, is D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond is the official online tool set of Dungeons and Dragons. It makes it super easy to just have all of the math and the things and the stats and the information all there for you without having to rifle through many, many pages. Um, it is just a quick search and boom, it's there. And you can create custom content too. Makes it super easy for you to do that. Uh, magic items, creatures, uh, encounters. So check out dndbeyond.com. Yes, I think that is it for our friendly announcements. Always friends, speaking to you, friends. Um, if you're watching here on Twitch, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe every month if you're doing that Amazon Prime thing. They reset it every month, so make sure you subscribe. Um, I believe we are at 47% on our tavern upkeep um, already at, uh, you know, August 7th. We're already almost halfway there. We're not even halfway through the month, y'all. Um, so if you want to get us to that 100% well before uh, September, um, you know, you can donate bits here. You can join us on patreon.com slash quest and chaos. You can watch on the YouTube, give us a like, subscribe, smashing that bell notification button, kind of like the Zombogre did with Renner, just smash it. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Goodbye. That was, I don't, I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah um and yeah uh, join us on the discord it won't help us out on the tavern upkeep side but we would love to have you there um our community is fan freaking fantastic um so yeah check us out on all of those platforms or also wherever you get your fine fine podcasts uh all of our um actual plays of uh, call of cthulhu and dungeons and dragons are there as well Speaking of other shows, unfortunately, due to new uh, COVID mandates, uh, we will not be in studio this Monday for Swords and Sages, but 
we will continue to play remotely, still getting you all that wonderful content. Um, but unfortunately, it will not be in a shared space for now. We will be. I back. will still run around in circles. Just, just you just won't see it. Yeah, and we'll still um, be highly inappropriate towards the eight-year-old boy. <laughs> Don't worry. Yes, the eight-year-old boy. But yes. Get your goddamn vaccines, <laughs> um, um, James. I do. Uh, I do want to jump in here, if that's okay. So we're yeah. talking about Tavern Upkeep and the Patreon, um, and how important that is for us because it is a, uh, a consistent uh, way. You know, as as you can see, we're actually at forty nine percent on the Tavern Upkeep. We hit forty seven percent just based on the 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 uh, the Patreon is a large percentage of. Every month, we just start off with a big chunk towards that goal. So it's really awesome of you guys to join us. Uh, again, uh, the, the you know sub subscribing with Twitch Prime, uh, just subscribing to our YouTube channel, following us on Twitch, being here, sharing, uh, sharing our social media stuff, just uh, you know, and then watch it. So we really appreciate it. But patrons, Patreon, patron, Patreon patrons get. Uh, at the ten dollar and up level, get to award cards to a game, and we have one. Mm. That card uh, from from Leslie, thank you so much, is boosted regeneration. So we have at the beginning of this game a uh, a uh, healing potion. Not, I'm not going to say it's going to change anything, but but it might. And also, sorry, Donovan's probably going to, if he finds this on himself, will use it within the first like 20 seconds of finding it. But I had, um, I had a flash of a moat taking it out and pouring it over Renner's goo. <laughs> and just being like, oh, come on, man. Yeah, you got to get this done, bro, brother. Come on. <laughs> drink Jeff, it Jeff. drink <laughs> it <laughs> yeah how how down are you donovan very i uh, and i i don't think it matters um it matters a little bit to the person who only has one hit point so i was just curious that's all um anyway so thank you leslie for that card we uh, are probably going to use it right away so <laughs> yeah. on that note uh, let me find out where my computer is it's right here james back to you Thank you, Thomas. I will take that. <laughs> Did you see that excellent? Like, thank you, Thomas. And now, I believe that is it for announcements, unless there's any other uh, things on your sides of the table. Um, anyone would like to announce? No? All right. Well, in that case, let us get in to this time zone's Time of Icewind Dale's Ride of the Frost Maiden. Welcome back. What happened? Last time, our heroes entered a Duragar outpost nestled within the foothills of Kelvin's Cairn. They approached and began to make their way into the facilities, taking out some initial guards that were uh, posted for uh, keeping watch. And as our heroes do, they entered through the front door. And as they entered through the front door, a czar's light shone into this large 
room almost and on the side were three uh cages two Ah! Thomas hit the okay. big red button. Play, uh, fabulous bean footage, Thomas. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, that was uh, that was uh, getting used to this crap. Pad. Uh, so uh, just start over. Yeah, I think you start over. So we okay. knocked on the front door. Bazaar's light was shining. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so uh, Durgar facility. You know, quest and chaos. Um, Durgar facility outpost, Kelvin's Cairn footholds open through the front door because that's our heroes. Azar's light shone through. We got some goats. And also in the other cage was a zombie ogre who saw the light and began to scream out, effectively being an alarm. It raised the attention of many of the Durgar within this outpost and battle ensued. Renner, believing the zombie ogre was uh, trapped there out of fear, um, opened the cage and let out the zombie ogre to join the fight with the Duragar. And after many of our characters going down, Donovan and Elspeth, many of the Durgar going down by the hands of all of these folks. They were quite effective in taking down the uh, horde that surrounded them. However, Renner's act of kindness proved to be their undoing as the zombie ogre continued to smash down on their unconscious body, killing them, dashing them across the wall. After defeating all of the Durgar, including the two Sunblight brothers, Nildar and Dur, <laughs> um, our heroes find themselves in this large open hall. The drawbridge into the facility broken down and fallen into the chasm below. Cold wind howls through the open front door and the smell of fresh blood and burning rotting flesh permeates the air as Donovan stands over the zombie ogre's smoldering body. The bleeding of goats reverberate through empty halls. Azar and Imdra surround a unconscious Elspeth with Amoa standing on the opposite side of the chasm out in the cold away from his friends and dashed across the far wall. Features unrecognizable is Renner. Donovan is doing the same thing, but at the zombie ogre, shooting it with fire. He is he alive? Is he alive? He may... We can save him. We can save him. We can save him. What's going on? You see, we, you look over at Renner's body, and a good portion of their upper body has just been sprayed oh, across. Oh, I, I, oh, I don't. Oh, and I kind of <laughs> try and like put it together. Come on, come on, come on, come on! This is gonna work. It's gonna work. Such an asshole to you. <laughs> uh... am, I, am I able to like get there knowing that the bridge is down? Um, you can try and do a run and jump and leap if uh, you'd like to make a athletics check. 
Yeah, I would like to. Yeah, give me and, an athletics. Uh, will and expeditious you... retreat help? Yeah, it'll help a little bit. Okay, let me cast that. Uh, Azari is going to be looking through um, Elspeth's stuff to see if she has any potions left because Azar cannot see what happened to Ren. Her light doesn't extend that far, and she's mm. around the corner. She has no idea. She so she hears sure. yelling, but that's not her focus. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Amoa. Uh, uh, athletics check? Yes. An eight. An eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did, and you, you casted Expeditious Retreat on yourself? I did. I did. Oh, buddy. Uh, <laughs> so you... Death is an expeditious retreat, right? I mean... You're gonna you're gonna fall extra fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, you run over, and as you do, your foot catches on a bit of snow, and you are unable to get a full push off. And you see yourself begin to sail, and you think you can make it across, and then you just see the lip of the chasm just approach really quickly, and you go. Boom, slap into it and fall backwards, um, taking uh, three points of falling damage. We did a MOA fall down all the way down? Yeah. Oh. So you land on any of the dwarfs? <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> <Sorry, Bob. laughs> yes. uh, there's a bone sticking Azar, through him. Yeah. Uh. Azar threw quite a few of them downstairs. So uh. mm -hmm. He took all the javelins, though, so there's no pointy ends. <laughs> Yeah, no pointy end, so you're good on that. Um, but you do land there, and you ugh, feel that reverberate through your body. And you do hear, just slightly further away from you, the struggled gargling of something. Wasn't dead yet. Uh, not, to, not to interrupt. I'm going to interrupt. Just because, you know, I, I still consider we're in combat. I still consider that we're in combat. Um, NGC 457 with 1,000 bits for the players. So maybe we can, uh, somebody can survive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. Um, uh, Amoa, can you roll me a constitution uh, check, please? Or a concentration check, please? Yeah. <clears throat> 23. 23. Azar, you still 20. remain big. Um, oh, yeah. Azar is huge, by the way. Um, <laughs> forgot about that on my end. But One yes, of us is having have... a good day. <laughs> uh, with 10 hit points. Uh, does Azar happen to find a highly useful potion somewhere in Elspeth's stuff? Um, I put it in the chat, but uh, there is a potion of climbing in my bag, which you could throw to a MOA if you wanted, but there, I, she does not have any healing potions. Does does uh, this uh, potion oh, show up? Unless that potion is in my bag. Yeah. That is your call. Uh, group, you guys want to use it? I Yeah, I think, I think we... Uh, in, in, Donovan is trying to hold Renner's insides in, so... <laughs> He's not in a right state of mind. So whatever. No, I mean, players, go ahead and use it. Players, now. absolutely. Okay. Well, I think that can be discovered in Elspeth's things. Yeah. Great. Then you find another potion that she forgot about, apparently. <laughs> you fish around and within. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Mid -James. laughs> to <show> James. <laughs> We're trying to have an emotional moment here and we just can't keep it together. <laughs> And you find within um, Elspeth's pack a red potion that is constantly swirling, even without motion. Um, and now found this, then we see uh, Moa face plant in the wall and fall into a pit. I, I just give the potion to Emdred, like give this to her and like dig around in my bag to find, um, uh, I forgot rope the adventure has got rope and i'll tie it to the corner of the cage and toss the other end uh, down to the hole for a moa okay thank um, you <laughs> yeah moa as you hear this gurgling you just hear out <laughs> as some rope falls down into the pit alongside you 
and uh, start climbing. Let me. Uh, I'm going to make a quick roll to see if Azarin notices the bloody mess on the wall that was Renner or not. Yes, at this event. Azar is famously perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> At this uh, event. That is a two. So, oh, no, uh, nope. I think she just helps them all up out of the hole. <laughs> Doesn't realize we're just dead yet. Mm -hmm. Amo, you are out of the hole. Um, I you okay? Line. <clears throat> <laughs> thank you. Thank uh, uh No, no response. He just kind of yeah. dives and Renault died. And uh, oh, well, actually, I don't know that Azar quite, yeah. would turn around. Yeah. That troll got a more uh, uh, Rena runs over there and takes Azar with him. Oh, shit. Am I the only one who actually, I mean, aside from Donovan, who's now there, am I the only one who actually knew he was dead? I didn't dead, realize, dead, yeah. I didn't realize that because she just saw him and screamed. So, okay, cool. That's fun for me in a minute. <laughs> So you three are around uh, Renner's mutilated body. So did, uh, sorry, I was looking for something off here. Did Azar use the potion? I gave yes. it to Imdra to give to her. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. He's, he's, this, this isn't good. This isn't good. It's, uh, and, and Donovan just kind of stops as everyone comes around him and it's like, it, and he leans back. It's, it's done. Unless, unless somebody can heal. Magic. Uh, I used the last that I had on you and Elspeth. Elspeth kept bringing me back and, She could have saved him. So it was your fault. Yeah, it is. I shouldn't have left the group. You keep doing that, Donovan. I know. I know. I I want to hide so I can be more effective. If I don't hide, I, I'm weak. I have to weak go. right now. Where are you going? I, he gets up and he kind of walks over to the the ogre zombie and blasts it a few more times. He just it's, screams. Cast bonfire in the corner just to sort of offer some light and a place to huddle. I'll go back over and check on Elspeth. Yeah, and as you do, the potion is being administered. Um, by Imdra into Elspeth's mouth. And Elspeth, as you slowly begin to regain consciousness, everywhere hurts. Yeah. Um, I think kind of kind of blinks very disoriented for a minute as I definitely was not in Imdra's lap when I collapsed. What the fuck? <laughs> Um, and then probably get hit with the, with the realization and just like, despite all of the pain and everything, just immediately sit up and just like, Donovan, Rana, Azar, anyone? And you see walking over to you, Azar, and over to the side, a bonfire illuminating the silhouettes of Donovan and Amoa and with that bonfire, you can see sprayed across the wall <sighs> blood. Elspeth's up. She's up. She's up. She can save him. She can save him. Elspeth, you got to save Runner. What? How? What? Uh, gonna just kind of half half try to get up, but half not fully get up and just sort of like crawl toward, like scramble crawl over toward uh, Runner and start fishing around in my like bag and my component pouch and everything. Um, and I am going to, uh, I'm going to double check this one more time to make sure that it is actually correct. 
it okay it has the tag on it um she's gonna just look at um at renner and and all the damage and just start um ritual casting gentle repose what you probably see happen is you see her like pull the diamond out of her pack and sort of like like press it against his chest and and realize like nothing's happening as she realizes that she's out of magic and th- so then she just scrambles through her component pouch and starts a little, just flinging stuff onto the floor at just haphazardly trying to get all the components out just to start this cast and just mumbling under her breath and just al- almost in like a frenzied panic trying to just get something donovan is pacing behind her and like every time he wants to like interrupt her he knows that you can't interrupt a ritual cast so he's like and then backs away and goes away and then runs back and be like no 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 so you all watch as elspeth begins to lay out the components for whatever spell she's casting and after the 10 minutes of sitting there watching this ceremony happen, anything in particular that happens during this, Elspeth? Um, you see, once she kind of scrambles through her pouch, she finds, um, she finds like, a, like a copper coin and uh, or two copper coins. She puts them over runner's eyes and then she starts scrambling around through her pouch can't find what she's looking for and suddenly starts going through runner's pockets until she finds his pouch of salt that he always carries with him and starts using that to like create this like arcane rune mm-hmm. over his body um she's moving kind of weird because she's the pain keeps catching up to her but she's also in such a panic she's not noticing and I think when it finally finishes and she kind of feels the ritual settle, she just sort of sits back and that's when she just gets hit with everything that just happened and she just sort of like freezes up and is just kind of staring. Before that happens, um, Tactical Bacon with a thousand bits for a chance that we pull a card out of here that will help. For that, you can interrupt my ritual. Uh, and the, yeah, so uh, this, so we're gonna use those bits. We're gonna draw two cards. In fact, you know what? Seth gave us two bits. Do we want to use draw four cards? Because the the cards stick around. Why I've not? shuffled this. Do we think the cards are more valuable than the uh, than the bonus? Should we get into a fight? Are you guys out of combat too? Or is there still combat? There's something gurgling in the pit, uh, but I don't think that can get back out to us, but we don't know if there's anything else in this building. We haven't really taken the time to clear it. I'm just, uh, I'm thinking that if there were a spell slot available before 10 minutes. I'm down for cards. Well, if, if the ritual gets off, then I have ten days. Got 10 days. So I can take a nap and then try to do some <laughs> other things. How could you sleep at a time like this? I mean, to be fair, I think I think it's an, I think we still have to find somebody who has spells that are more powerful than what I have. Right. Yeah. So, so if if you had a spell time. slot, we would be within if the I can 10 get a minutes. third level spell slot, then I can save him now. But it has right. to be a third level. So, what level is gentle repose? Second, but I can ritual cast it, which is what I'm doing right now. Yes, which takes ten minutes, and revivify requires the subject to be dead to be less than ten one. minutes. One less than a minute. Yeah, we're already past oh, revivify less than a minute. because okay. I went we're down. We're already past that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we're past it because I went down. All right. So, so we'll draw two cards. those two which are one more time you gain an extra action cool 
an emergency seal. We could seal, we could seal Renner up, fold him up, put him in a seal. <laughs> Catch a repose and put him in a little cube. <laughs> so gross. A little uh, terrarium or like aquarium. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> Renner really is going to be the Disney princess now. Just put him in a glass coffin like Snow White. Uh. He's short enough. He just, you know, fold his legs up and put him in there. I think we want to take the one more time. All right, we'll do the one more time. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Tactical Bacon, though. Yes, yes thank, thank you, you. Thank so, you. Much, so much. Uh, I thought I thought Revivify was a, a ten minutes. Uh, okay. No, it's one minute. Um, oh. And also, just to clarify, because I did double check, Gentle Repose does not actually indicate, even as a ritual, that it takes a full ten minutes. It gives me no difference in time. But a ritual uh, I, takes 10 minutes plus the action. Okay. I just wanted to double check in case anybody knew anything different because some I know some it's 10, some it's 11, whatever. So. Okay. 10 or 11. So, I don't know that it makes a difference. We can't <laughs> revivify him at this point. I don't yeah. have any magic left. While this is going on, the Zarts is going to take bits of whatever and start casting light to throwing light orbs around the place so we can see mm -hmm. just in case. Toss a couple down the pit. Yeah, you ca cast them around and eventually the room begins to alight and you get to see this about 20 foot tall um, compound, at least in this area. Um, the dimensions of it is about, you know, about 40 by, or how, oh God, let me see, where is it? There it is. Oh, it's a lot bigger than that. Excuse me. Yeah, 40-ish by 80 feet. Um, just a pretty large rectangle with three exits that you saw um, where different folks had, or different Duragar had come within. And as you toss a couple pebbles down below into the pit, you get to see the carnage that you wrought, the few Duragar that you shoved down into that hole um, returned to a normal size. And you can see, and slightly here, the twitching and gargling of one Duragar who just is trying to move, but is just twitching in place. See, on top of or under the bridge? See, the uh, last guy would have been, there, he'd be on top. He would have been on top. Okay. Uh, Zara will say that one of the door guard down there's not dead let me take care of him do we do we do we need to ask him any questions do you think he'll talk do we really feel like asking questions right now no i don't care um So is are you jump down? How deep is the pit? Uh, it's about twenty. I'll just breathe fire into it. Okay. Light them all up. Light them all up. <sighs> As flame just curls around, you the last bit of gurgling and twitching from that one Duragar just stops. I'll, um, I'm going to get the uh, tent cloth out of my pack, just the cloth, and I'll go over to Renner and I'll um, fold him up into it. Mm -hmm. And I'll take uh, the uh, tent ropes to tie it together. I attempt to assist Azar. You both begin to make this um, makeshift stretcher, if you will. Um, just packing them in nicely as you can. A uh, slight sheen almost just kind of resting over their body after Elspeth has finished her ritual. And you watch with eyes covered with coin just get covered by the tent cloth. While that happens, Elspeth is going to take 
Brenner's salt pouch and stick it into her component pouch. And she's mm-hmm. going to push herself to her feet and kind of wander off toward the hall and find Imdra's sword mm-hmm. that she had sort of flung out of the way when she was running to find Donovan. And she's going to pick it up and just kind of start wiping it down on her skirt and walk back and just hand it to Imdra. And she grabs it, sheaths it. And she just stands there looking over at Runner's body as you all are taking in this moment. And she just holds space for you all. Imdra, who who can raise dead? Who's powerful enough in 10 towns to raise dead? Um, <laughs> Uh, of people I know, I not many. Or but there's some. Any. There's, there's. I mean, you could try with the Church of uh, Lefando. Um, but I, do, I do not even know if they are capable of such. Um, they couldn't remove the curse off of Donovan without help. Don't imagine they can do this. What, what what if we took what if we got more of that water? Do you think that water is more than just removes curses? I think if it raised the dead, we'd probably have noticed. Elspeth is gonna sit down just like right next to Imdra, pull out her incense and start praying she hasn't had much luck with this recently so she's it's and it's a it's a dual it's a dual thing where she is reaching out to kelimvor being like hey dude can you give me an assist here but she's also kind of keeping the back of her mind open in case she can get lavistus to respond to her she'll take what she can get at this point she just needs an answer I'm going to go to Moon. It's like, we should at least make sure there's none left. Yeah, yeah. We gotta we gotta clear this place out. Wait, 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 wait. I bet the frost maiden can cast it. What 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 if we I mean we've we've probably been a thorn in her side. What if we what if we agree to just leave her be if she brings Renner back? No. And I'm going to go to the room to the northeast. <laughs> that, that hallway there. Yeah. Okay. Just a flat no and walk away. And then Donovan just screams, Fuck! Azar, as you head towards the eastern area, um, you push through a door and As you do, you walk up a few steps and you are basically in a large, almost nearly empty room. Um, Snow has kind of just been pushed to the corners either by hand or by the wind that blows through three openings. Um, And as you look through these openings, you can see the, it's basically an overlook and you can see the path that you all came through as well as the bunker down below. I'll grab something to cast light on, toss it in the room, then close the door. Mm -hmm. Close the door and you toss it. And you can see on the further end of this room, stairs leading further up. I'm just checking the immediate rooms to make sure there's nothing nearby. As you enter this other, uh, or go up the stairs into this other uh, room, no door on it. You just see kind of piles of equipment here and there, uh, an open hatch that I believe you also saw. um, You can ascertain in the um, guard tower. There's a hatch. Yeah, that leads to the bunker, and there you see some javelins, a couple shields, some armor, and um, six bags. Okay, I don't care. As long as no one here, whatever. 
Mm -hmm. Yep. And that is the end of the eastern area, and you return back. Where I'll tell them uh, empty room supplies. Where are the dogs in the slide? They're outside down the way where we left them, <clears throat> past the that guard tower. Um, if you ask Elspeth, she will try to summon Irut to bring them. Um, um, won't be able to get them in, though. Yeah, we, we just we need to get Renner on the sled. I can take her. And uh, what, what we you said that 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 room was empty. What about everywhere else? We yeah, we I haven't these, checked yet. These, um, I think that we should all and I'll go, go to the to the west northwest northwest direction. I'll uh, I'll be following along okay. as you know something to do. Yeah, you follow along and you look into basically it funnels into another room no door um and uh it is a long room kind of divided in into with two uh open doorways in the middle um on the far end you can see an iron lever and i would say with your, both of your passive perceptions you kind of just like look up and around and as you look up you do see in the door frames essentially uh, spikes that could come down and essentially be a choke off point. Does it does it look like a trap or just it can be triggered? Uh, yeah, you could drop the doors if the um, fortress were breached, right? And they wouldn't be able to get to. Mm -hmm. And you it's get like the sense out. that I would say Donovan and Azar, you both are intelligent enough. Like if someone pulled that lever, it would <laughs> cut down into that doorway area. But as you go into that second portion where the cutoff point would be, you can see off to your left a door. Right. I'll check the door or the room where was past the door. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, you uh, check the room? Or yeah, the I'm just going to open the door and see what, make sure, I'm just checking to make sure there's no other people here. Cool. Um, within this room, you see a stone carved bed and a desk that just rests on the opposite side. And on this desk, there is basically just a mess of things just scattered about. You can see shards of crystal. And a, in a sack, you can just see glowing light of red, blue, and green. And there are other things on this desk, pieces of paper, and a lot of, a lot of crystals. Like shardling crystals or just like gems or something uh do you go close enough to look yeah I'll go over and look okay I, i'm actually donovan actually just starts he's gonna cast de, you know what he just cast detect magic just gonna cast it okay <laughs> and there on the desk um and as you approach azar you both see slightly similar to uh what elspeth Oh wait, had, Elspeth, have you shown anybody? Donovan Donovan knows that I have it. Wh whether or not he remembers that I am wearing it, Donovan knows that I have it for sure. Mm -hmm. And Imdra saw me with it. I think they're the only two. Yeah. You see crystals that kind of remind you of basically shardowing. However, their color is as opposed to other shardowing you have seen that is of a darker Black or hue. This one seems almost um, how should I say this? Clear. Unused. Okay. And with that detect magic, Donovan, uh, you definitely do see uh, two little pings on the desk. One of it um, a Chardolin piece. Um, also slightly clear. But it does give off the sense of, uh, of divination magic. Wow. Okay, so I'll point that out. Mm -hmm. And underneath the burlap sack, uh, there is also, um, I guess it would technically be transmutation magic. A, uh, I'm going to grab whatever it is. I'm going to say, Zar, this, uh, this, this piece of Shardolin is 
some sort of divination magic. Just stick in the bag. Okay. And then what's under the burlap sack? As you open the burlap sack, you see a lantern. And inside of it is just a little globe that just gently shifts from red to green. Oh, uh, it's the lantern they said was taken. What? What? What is our? Was that taken? They um from the end. They said they took their lantern. Oh, those are probably someone's scopes. This is their lantern. Stole a bunch. Of, I'll just gather up. Um, I'll just like open my backpack and just like to scoop all the stuff in there, whatever. Mm -hmm. And as you scoop stuff um into your bag and underneath it all of this junk that just gets shoved in a bag you can see displayed on this desk a map of Icewind Dale with multiple x's on different points and a particularly uh, I guess garish would be the right word garish uh symbol um, on the southern mountains, well past uh, Dugan's Hole, basically the spine of the world. I'm going to search the rest of the desk as well, like okay. for I'll information. Roll up the map. Money. You can look at it later. Uh, investigation check, Donovan. Mm, Seventeen. 17. As Azar um, just begins to swipe all of the stuff into a bag, you see a piece of paper just that just kind of falls off to the side, crumpled up. Pick it up and un uncrumple it. And you read um, on this note, it says, Brother, you will find me on the frozen ferry in East Haven. From this new base, the search for Shardalin continues. Long may our father reign over this dark land. Dirt. Dirk? Uh, dirt. Did we, 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 uh, is this, is, this is the, this is the one that we foiled. Yeah. Yeah. So where is next to Spine of the World? That's where the map says. That's where the old dwarf lady said. Yeah, sure. What, where were they sleeping? There's got to be. There's got to be more here. Well, we haven't searched the whole place yet. You done? Yeah, I'm done. Come on. You two return, Amoa. Um, you watch as Azar and Donovan begin to, I'm assuming, coast to the southern area? I'll give um, Elspeth the map to look at. Maybe uh, her and Indra and can figure something out with it. Indra might know the area. Mm -hmm. Both will take and it and see... spread it in front of her. Yeah, you spread it across the ground. Indra has been sitting next to you. Um... Excuse me. Uh, what was I going to do? I need that. Um, but yes, you two continue southward. Yes? Or is it just... Nope. Yeah. Nope. I still yeah. have to take magic up. Bing, bing, yeah. bing, bing. James, you've muted yourself somehow. Oh, no, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to oh, myself no. as I try to pull up a... Uh, there we go. Map of Icewind Dale. Okay. Yes. Okay. But yes, as you two um, go to the uh, southern side, you open this door that leads into it, and you can see across the way and to your left rows of cells on the uh, eastern side of it, there is a small hole, basically a window in which 
one could look out through. And you can see um, on basically to your right side, uh, stairs leading upwards. But in this dark place, I'm assuming Azar, you have light? I'm tossing random objects with light casts on it and all. <laughs> Almost immediately as you throw in the light and whatever object you throw in there, it just goes. <laughs> you hear from within these cells, just like. <laughs> Pull my rapier out. You pull your rapier out and you can see off within each of these cells, just a person kind of huddled into the corner. And as that rock lands, they turn and you can see in this dim light, fungal growth that has just reached up and over their heads, completely covering any humanoid features and their mouths are still slightly open, but you can see just growth coming off of their sides, little almost spore sacs on a few of them that are just kind of puffed up in places. And one of them just begins to click at you. It's like. Uh, Azora's field of fox is barren. So she's just gonna walk past these guys, look in the room, they're in cells, who cares? Mm -hmm. and, uh, just look around real quick make sure there's no other rooms and then go back what do they, what do they sorry what do they look like they look humanoid but fungus has completely enveloped basically their heads and parts of their body have fungal growth coming off of them have i heard of that ever Ooh, roll me a. Ooh, this. Ooh, this one might be nature. Oh no, that's a three on the die. So okay, yeah. You just that's watch gosh. as these humanoid people, different growths upon their head. Um, one of them only about half covered. You can see a human eye and some beard puffing out. But as Azar passes by, you see two of them just trying to like reach out from the cage. Like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, nah. I don't know what that is. Do, do we put them out of their misery? Are they miserable? I mean, they're in cages. They're... Azar is already continuing to walk up the stairs. He doesn't care. Okay. My okay. I'm not with them, am I? No, I don't think I am. Oh, uh, no, not right now. Unless oh. you wish to be. Uh, yeah, I'll go with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, as yeah, you were kind of just wondering about this, Donovan, Amoa, you kind of just saddle up and you see these same things. Did I, did, did I hear Donovan suggest to let them out? Well, wait, yeah. well, no, no, no. No, they they tried to attack Azar. She went past. I I don't know what these are. Do you know Do you know what these are? No. But you better not run away if they get out. Well, don't let them out. <laughs> and just kind of like shove past him, following Azar. Mm -hmm. And as you ascend these stairs, um, Azar, you look over and you see basically four doors, um, two on your left, two on your right, and basically a small common area uh, in front of you where crates and stacks have been kind of makeshift arranged into what looks like um, a table of sorts. And you can see some cards and dice that have been littered across these um, tables, but you see two to your left, two to your right. Just boot the doors open. Yes, they do open. Mm, empty inside? As you open each of them um, or enter each of them, you basically see very spartan uh, bed rolls and sacks laid about. And um, 
yeah. So right now, you just see crates and sacks. All right. No Donovan? Uh, you do turn around to see Amoa um, arriving up the stairs behind you. Yeah, I'll do oh, Donovan's okay. job and look around for stuff. <laughs> Roll me an I'll investigation be, check. I'll be eventually showing up. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Donovan, as you famous arrive for her upward, investigative skills. You uh, see Azar begin to pull around the crates and sacks. Well, that's not bad. Uh, that's uh, 14 plus 1. 14 plus 1. Okay. I would say with all three of you there, you begin to look around and look inside, and you see basic supplies, blankets, rations, rope, and um, some climbing gear. Um, a that. small sack. You do find um, 25 pearls kind of carved in a decorative fashion. Um, overall, you also find three daggers, a set of wood carver's tools, navigation tools, fishing tackle. Right. And you find this quite quickly, right. Donovan, because it pings your detect magic, a uh, oh, potion. Potion of? Healing. As well as 73 silver. All right, hold on. Um, uh, can we just like post that in the chat later? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to add the potion of healing to my inventory. And the 73 silver. As well, and I'll and I'll shout it out. There's there's a bunch of silver here, and just add it to a pouch. Fishing tackle. It's, it's I don't I don't know. What is it? Hemp rope or silk rope? Yep. Ugh. Heavy ass rope. <laughs> Can I take it? Yeah. I'll just grab it. All right. Well, is that there's stairs up or stairs down? Or we are is this there another the stairs? Room? Uh there are no more rooms. All right. This gathered. Just random stuff up, just leave. Yeah. Uh, oh. Plus, with Imdra, you begin to look over this map, and the small X's that you see, they are particularly in places of 10 towns. Like they are specifically in 10 town um, with just X's over them. Let's see, any other, and you do see the, also the uh, garish crest of basically like a, uh, an eclipsed sun. And it is in the spine of the world far to the south, almost directly south of Kelvin's Cairn. Oh, you are muted, love. Thank you. Um, do I recognize this symbol from having seen it elsewhere before? Clipson. Um, I will tell you where I think I might have, if that's easier for you. Yes. Uh, when, where when does you... it match one of the symbols on one of the doors in the druid's cave? It does not. Okay. Um. In that case, I would say is like, then if it does not match that specifically, does it remind me of anything else that I've seen? A religious mm. symbol, a icon of something? Yeah, make me a history check. History. Uh, 18. 18, nice. Due to your uh, under dark heritage and some curiosity in that, 
Um, you know, basically down below in the Underdark, there is a whole other world with all of its different factions. Um, and while you have not seen the symbol in particular, it does remind you of a uh, particular reading of a Duragar clan known as the Sunblights. And it just kind of makes sense, you know, sun being eclipsed. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, I'll look at I'll look at that. I'll look at kind of the X's. Do some of the X's also match up with places where we've been, where we've heard about Durgar activity? Like there's yes. one in East Haven. One. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Elspeth just kind of looks that over and then just kind of goes, well, we know there's passages to the Underdark around. We found one in the mines. So I imagine this symbol is probably something related to that some way down below yes um probably um it is uh it appears to be uh, <laughs> a greater thing than uh, simply just Duragar thieves where we got some indication that they're trying to I don't know what it is at this point anymore. Keep the eternal night or destroy the world or some such nonsense. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, if I did not like the sun and happen to be uh, a place without sun, this is where I would like for my home to be. <laughs> it's funny. I thought I'd miss the sun a lot more than I have. Maybe I've got more of my mother's blood in me than I thought. Well, I, um... I'm sure, uh, you look, uh, um... <laughs> uh, Elspeth is just going to reach over and kind of like put like really hesitantly and just sort of like put a hand on top of Indra's and kind of give it the pat of like, you don't have to try. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> and with that, she kind of just lets out a sigh, just like a, and just sits with you in, despite everything, in slightly comfortable silence. Yeah, I think Elspeth at this point is just good. She, she's a little worried that everybody else is gone, but she is absolutely not in her current state going to go look for them. She's going to wait for them to either come back or scream for help. Mm -hmm. So, At which point they do. And you three do help. arrive. <laughs> to see Indra and um, Elspeth just gently holding hands looking at a map. One of the elves, one of them was also in East Haven. Found this note. See, it shows them the crumpled up note. Yes. That was the, the boat. It's a little bastard that keeps turning us on each other. I'm sure that's the one whose head I took off. I hope so. He looked familiar. Do we uh, know? Zara is going to um, take one of the pearls and to like slightly unroll um, the little makeshift uh, container we have for Renner and place a pearl inside and then roll it back up with him. Donovan uh, actually, before his uh, detect magic fades, he wants to go and look down the the shaft to see if, mm -hmm. if the sun blights are down there and if they had magic items on them. Mm. You look down below and you just see a chasm with scorch marks that just have flowered up and you see slightly smoky um, the body of Dirth or not Dirth, Nildar um, oh. just 
unmoving. But as you look over, uh, your detect magic does not ping. You would think many bosses would have magic items, huh? Uh, Elswith will point toward the decapitated body of Dirth, which I think is like a few yards away from where she and him are sitting and just kind of like, not really say anything, but just kind of point it out to Donovan if he wants to check yeah. that too. I'll go investigate that. Yeah. Um, Angrily. <laughs> given that the little bugger like to stab us with knives out of nowhere, don't know that you'll find anything, but maybe. Let's see. You search your dirt's body? Yes. Okay. It does not. Uh, make me an investigation check. Come on. <laughs> 13. <laughs> 13, okay. Um, Unless we want to add 1d6 to that gonna say we wait yeah yeah okay you find 42 silver and 32 copper i'm gonna shout it out as i'm adding it to 42 silver and how many copper 32 32 Taking, taking this coin, adding it to our funds. Mm -hmm. I will say you also do find um, a very interesting dagger, almost uh, almost Chris like It, it kind of waves. Uh, all right, I'll... I'll... I guess, yeah. I mean, technically... Not Technically, really. it's magic, therefore ping. It doesn't say it's magic. Unping only, Vasily. But oh, well, well, I'll say it like this: um, it gives off a magical essence quality. It just, it's super well made. It's worth something. Um, I can mm -hmm. I, I can try and identify it later, but there's yeah. So, I don't know about you guys, but we gotta, I need to rest. Same. I think Zar and I have, and Amo, we've searched the place. Do we want to rest here? Or do we want to? We should probably catch our breath before we leave. Yeah, we should. Uh, this is the safest place, but our dogs are outside first job will be getting over that. She points to the chasm with no bridge over it anymore. I can help, but I'll need a minute. Um, Elspeth will stand up and kind of go to the edge of the pit and just do her like little like whistle that she sometimes does for a route to see if he'll come or not. Okay. You wait a few moments. You do not hear him. I guess. She'll just go sit back down. Well, we've got... There's a climbing kit and, you know, some rope. We can climb down, climb up one at a time, lower Renner down, bring him back to the other side. It'll take a while. We've got There's all the time just... in the world right now. Bizarre. What, what are you thinking? Yeah. I can get rid of that would be a problem. I can get to the other side and help everyone get across. There's a point to where the um, rope is tied to the cage. I can hold the other end, help everyone get over. I can jump across with her and it won't be a problem. Can I, can I just cast Mold Earth on like the corner? So unfortunately, uh, this is carved stone. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, so short rest. 
short rest here and then we should probably long rest before long. Yeah, we'll come back to town. So y'all short rest. Um, roll however many hit die you would like. How 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 long have we been awake? Is it near twenty? Yeah, oh, that we can take a long rest, or can we not even take a long rest? I don't think you can take a long rest at this point. Okay. Oh boy, I am gonna spend some hit dice then. Wow. Sixteen. You know. That's it. Yeah. All right. Everyone <laughs> anyway. healed up and okay. yeah. as you all take this hour and some to rest. Any conversation that happens, or just sit in silence? I'm going to go uh, sit with Renner. Yeah, I was going to do the exact same thing. Yeah. I think Elspeth deliberately doesn't go anywhere near Renner again. I think she goes like all the way to the other side of the room, even, mm -hmm. and just kind Don of leans against the wall. Donovan does come up behind Azar and Amoa. We should find his sister. That's what he was here for. I don't know where to look, though. Maybe in the mirror. We should head back to the sea, put him back where he came from at least. We can still bring him back. It's not too late. Maybe if we get back to Kerkonig, we could talk to the speaker. If he used to travel with my father, then he might know someone powerful enough that we could contact if he's, you know, sober enough to remember his own name. Well, your, your, your spell will, will protect him? With 10 days. Well, then let's get moving. Yeah, let's get moving. all begin Very to beautiful. gather your things. Azar, you take the drop-down rope and leap over to the other side. Um, the doors open in or out? The doors open in towards right. you. So I'll take the other end of the rope and I'll um, tie it around the hinges and pull okay. it top so you can just hand over hand your way across. And I'll jump with Renner. Jump with Renner on the stretcher. I think he. I don't think it's a yeah, stretcher. It's just, I think it's a no, shroud. A cloth that can sling. Yeah, it's just a shroud. Yeah. It okay. Wrapped him in the tent cloth and then tied it shut. It's just a shroud. All right. In yeah. that case, since you are carrying Renner with you, I just like you to make a athletics check. Yeah, twenty-four. Twenty-four. No, sorry, athletics twenty-two. Twenty-two. With ease, you just make it over to the other side, land with the rope in hand, and tie it off. Elspeth is going to look around at the rest of the group and say, I should go last, and put up her hand, and it's going to kind of spark a little bit with the guidance. And she wants everybody else to go first so that she can give them guidance mm -hmm. before they go across. Yeah. And easily enough, because you do have that rope, you do just go hand over hand. Um, Amoa does dip a little bit with your um, just natural density 
being a creature who is of part earth <laughs> but you make your way across and over and you all begin to make your way outside of the compound after everyone's across the czar will be like oh shit and we'll go back inside and we'll try to get we'll get the goats out and try to bring them to so they don't starve to death in cages cool um yeah, I would say with teamwork, y'all are able to get the goats over. Um, <laughs> You're not going to make just... us spend 30 minutes role-playing that, James? <laughs> well, how would you like to take the goats over? Exactly the way you said, with teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to chuck them out the door, but okay, teamwork. <laughs> Who? It's, a, uh, it's probably a tie them up, lower them down, raise them up on the yeah, other side. Yeah. <laughs> but you all are able to get the goats out and meet up with your dogs could yeah. be the next place we head mm -hmm. you find jolly and seven still there jolly ever stole worked seven just kind of flopping in the snow <laughs> Just flopping in the snow, and then when they realize you're coming, someone just like <laughs> rub his head a little bit and tie Renner on to the sled. Mm -hmm. Jolly just gives you a nudge, Amoa. Just kind of lean, and you do not see a root right now, Elspeth. Hmm. Um, noting that Elspeth is going to actually keep her distance from the sled because she remembers also that Seven was given her weird vibes when she mm -hmm. settled them previously. So she's just going to keep her distance. Yep. Yeah. But you hitch up Renner to the sled and begin to make your way back to the Kirkonic. And that's where we're going to take our break. All right, y'all. So, uh, yeah, we'll do. We'll be back in a quick seven to ten. Get that bio break. Get yourself a snack. Get yourself some water. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you all very soon. Bye.
<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. So yes, our heroes have just left the Durgar compound and are headed back towards Kirkorik. And as you all begin to walk, Donovan, your detect magic did notice that on Elspeth, um, that's a bit of a glowy glow um, on her uh, chest region, just uh, where her symbol or holy symbol used to be. However, it's slightly different and it's a very twisty magic in there. Yeah, so on this, on this journey back, I will kind of at some point like get, get her attention and then just kind of fall back from the group. Don't follow. And, and so just, you know, just outside of the, the group. So I see you got a new piece of jewelry. It's, uh, it's weird. That's a word for it. I don't think I've ever had a normal piece of jewelry in my life, though. It's ma it's magic is weird. I can't quite pin it down, but it's not. I don't. It's, I don't well, think it's healthy. It's not any different from the ring you gave us. Ah, fends off the cold. <laughs> I I would hear this. I'm like, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, I I think that's totally cool. Um, and so a, a bit louder, I'll be like, I don't think it's safe, so that everyone else can hear. Uh, would you let Would you let me look at it? Why? Why this sudden interest? That's why. Where's your owl? I don't know. It's not even my owl. It just started following me around. I'm a cleric. We don't keep familiars. So you won't let me look at it? No means no, Donovan. <laughs> Well, if you insist, and else we'll just reach down into her shirt and pull out and let it hang out in front. And it is the black sword amulet that Kadroth gave her. So that's 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 from the cult. Yes, and I can't I can't pinpoint the school of magic around it. It was hidden or, or, or just something weird with it. That's one of the properties of Shardlin, isn't it? It absorbs all kinds of things. Maybe it's been reused and so it's all gummed up in the works or something. It's an absorptive item. Retains bits and pieces of whatever you put into it. Did, did we get more than one? Do we have any in our bags? I believe you only took one. I know we gathered them up. I don't remember if we kept any of them aside from the one that Elspeth kept. Yeah, I don't think we did. Well, uh, tonight, before we rest, I'm going to be trying to identify some of the uh, items that we picked up in the... Uh, in the tower. If you would be open to it, I would love to see what it's about. I'll see what I'm doing tonight. Okay. Donovan is just gonna, he's gonna just take the hint. Be like, okay, fine. Um, yeah, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Elspeth is gonna like let kind of let 
Donovan walk away before she kind of tucks the amulet back down into her into her shirt. Um, she is gonna do a scan to see who else, if anybody, actively like turned and saw her with it. Because we did kind of fall back. I, I mean, I, I think that I, just getting the slip. I definitely think that I said it loud enough to get a Moa's attention. Um, yeah, and I think uh, Elspeth is just going to kind of hang back from the, you know, like not crazy far back to where anyone's going to worry about it, but she's going to keep her distance from the group for the rest of the walk back. Well, it just kind of grunts. Mm. He's processing. I I also think that as we as we travel back just the whole time, I am going to keep kind of sc- constantly doing an overhead scan and kind of throwing my lights out the way I normally do, mm-hmm. but particularly looking to see if I spot any sign of Irut, but also to see if I spot the Frost Maiden traversing the sky to try to get a sense of what time it is yeah um if you'd like to make a survival check you can get a I would sense love of to make a survival check just starting to try to get the hang of the weird timing in this place that is a 15 15 um you get the sense that it is um as you have started to be here for a longer period of time, um, just the way the stars are and the way that the moon is or is not in the sky, um, you can guess roughly maybe around 4 p.m. ish. Yeah. That tracks. Right. Yeah. But as you all begin to walk, I'd like someone to roll me a D4. Uh, how about um, the Renner's ghost roll it? Yeah, I was just saying, let's make yeah. Matt roll it for us. <laughs> the ghost of Renna, what are you going to roll? Two. <laughs> <laughs> so like, oh God, was it that one YouTube video in which the cooked fish continues to move when someone like poked its spine? Uh. Um just like runner's body too no <laughs> well it's like the lazarus effect which is what what makes corpses like as rigor mortis sets in it makes them f- cross their arms cross their chest but yes everybody uh, can google that later a light flurry of snow just kind of dusts your travels but not enough to be impeding as you all begin to walk, is anyone keeping, or I believe Elspeth said uh, she was keeping her eyes out. Anyone else? It's always, always watching. Right. It's, it's a terrible place where it's always dark and things try to eat you. Donovan Perception. is, sorry, okay. Donovan is way, is out of it. He's just, okay. his mind A perception is check at disadvantage for you two since the light um, only extends so far. I have dark vision. Do I still have disadvantage? Okay. Yeah, no, and do. I have dancing lights that go 120 feet. Yeah. So. Okay, in that case, just uh, 18. 18? Uh, 15 for me. Okay. You continue to walk. The wind slightly buffeting you here and there. Um, but overall, a nice trip. As nice as it can be. <laughs> and as you crest over a couple hills, you begin to see the Loch Dennis cheer and light just rimming the north side knowing you are very close to Kirkonic. Good about 30 to an hour out but you can see it down below. And as you walk eventually the town comes into your purview and you see a few more people out than you had before they're just kind of milling about and the ever familiar um 
Oh, balls. What is... Oh, I lost that page. Where did it go? I have like 20 pages up. Familiar oh! balls. That is oh, my saying, favorite yeah. pub. Familiar oh. balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The hook, line, and sinker with its familiar ales out in the front and a few more people milling about there. Um, but yeah, you are back within Kerkonig. It's tiered amphitheater-esque setting, just kind of encircling this little uh, protrusion of the lake. What did, uh, where was the lamp lantern missing from? The, North the northern light. Oh, the northern, the northern light, yeah. Which is yeah, right across so then, the yeah. seeker. So then that tracks with that magic item. Yeah. I didn't, what was the lady's name? I didn't write it down. Uh, there is Allie and, oh, where she Corey. go? Where she go? Allie and Corey. The Shorard, the Shorard, oh God, the Shorard sisters. If I can do it in an Irish accent, it makes it all better. The Shorard sisters. All right, <laughs> uh, I'll uh, go through the stuff and find it, my, and uh, we'll just leave the sled outside, and I'll go in, you know, find whichever one's nearest, and just like give them the lamp back. And Thank as you. you enter, um, you see a nice warm firelight has illuminating the place, a few um, candles here and there, and little tiny chandeliers up above. And in an armchair next to the fireplace, you just see Trovis, the silver dragonborn, just pass the fuck out with a blanket just thrown over him as you... <laughs> And as you enter, you just see Allie's like, shh, 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 shh. the wee laddie sleeping. How are you doing, love? I hand her the lamp back. Like, and we found two goats. Oh, oh, those aren't our goats. They're actually um, Malayne's down the way, but I'll, I'll let her know that you brought the goats back. <laughs> shh. <laughs> And we need rooms. Dear, you brought this back for us. You can have all the rooms you want. And some ice hot stew. And I just walk oh. upstairs. Okay. Oh, eh, hello, it's our friends. Um, th thank you so much for bringing this back. Um, if you like a room, you can have it. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Any chance you've got a bottle of very strong liquor back there? I think we can pop a couple. Um, it looks Thank like you. you all have been um, do quite the ringer. Um, That's a way of putting it. Yes. Is Would there like... a church in town? <sighs> Unfortunately, no. It's all right. Just thought uh, I'd ask. Well, I, I'm... Uh, let's see. Uh, there is um, Old Man Nabbit. He, uh, I would say he's probably the most religious of us all. Just kind of prays in his own little home. He might oh, be able to... It's all right. I'm sure he's wonderful and I don't think he can help us. So, thank you. Certainly. Um, uh, how are you doing, Omoa? Uh, Dorovin? It's... Renner didn't make it back. He's, we lost someone. I mean, he's outside, but he's not. He's, he's outside his body. He's we, we'll, we'll need to put our sled somewhere. and He's, he's on the sled. Understood. Understood. Um, oh, right. Um, well, how about you all head up? Um, We'll uh we'll bring you some food and some drink and uh would you say your dogs are okay with other folks? We can take them to the back area and 
Actually, actually, could could we bring the dogs into the room tonight? Certainly, certainly, love. That wouldn't be a problem at uh, all. I'll put them in Elspeth's room. No, thank you. Imtra and I will be fine. Oh, I thought uh, he looks over. He's like, oh, I didn't know you were still here. That was the trick I was going to. Anyway. Um, She's standing very quietly over in the corner waiting for the liquor she requested. So. <laughs> yes. Um, I'll get and that. I'm like, <laughs> I will, uh, we'll get that all arranged. How about you all head upstairs and we'll, um, we'll, we'll get that right to you real quick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Donovan's just gonna, he's gonna, whatever magic items there are, he's just gonna go and like sit at a table and, or, eh, no, he's gonna go up to, up to a room and okay. just start identifying. Yeah, and as you wait, Elspeth, um, Ali just quickly goes behind the um, counter, um, pulls out this very dark brown bottle and just and pulls a uh, shot for you to, and passes it over. Slams it without hesitation, puts, and, and like full like classic drinker, just like slam down, look expectantly waiting for another top up. <laughs> she slides the glass towards her and then just slides the bottle towards you. Take it and head upstairs. Mm -hmm. Uh, Indra just kind of stays down for a bit and just says, uh, I'll be up in um, just a moment. You know which door is mine if you want. Meanwhile, um, does anyone else share rooms or do you all want to just go solo for right now? I want to go solo. Yeah. All right. In that case, let's go room by room and see uh, what folks plan on doing. Uh, let's start with Azar. What is what is Azar doing in her room? Lying in bed, surrounded by her usual death traps. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> As you lie there in bed, just your original calling to this place just kind of filters into your brain. Just that vision you saw and whether you're moving along that path or not. Omo, what's up with you? Uh, <clears throat> he's kind of there and he's removed his like uh, hook necklace and is slowly carving into the uh, the room's wall <laughs> just to just uh, it, to crudely but passionately what he believes to be kind of like the silhouette of a, of a triton <laughs> Just kind of mm -hmm. make an art. He's trying to yeah, make me express a, himself. Make me a dex check. Uh, four. A what? Four. Whew, okay. <laughs> you you start to carve this trident. And um, <laughs> <laughs> as you carve into it, um, your your hook ain't the most precise instrument. And as you bring it down, you realize you've created a uh, four dent, a four pronged tri <laughs> trident. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> 
Uh, for the sake of everyone listening on the podcast, I need you to know that in the private group chat, somebody recommended that uh, obscene drawings were being made on the wall and then provided us the emoji version thereof, which is why we're all losing our minds in the middle of this very uh, uh, depressing moment of grief and mourning. <laughs> eight, eight so you know how usually you put a D at the end? Uh, someone put an E, so it's a three-pronged dick. Um <laughs> No, no, no! It's a tri dick. It's a tri dick. Oh, four dick. (laughs) Um. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Donovan, what's happening in your room? Uh, hold on. Uh, Texting, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Donovan whips out the smartphone and starts doom scrolling. (laughs) Um. So, uh, question. Because I know that there's been some confusion about who actually has the bag of tricks. Uh, I Donovan thinks that he has it. Whether or not he actually does, I don't know. Um, I would say that you would have it now because you took it from my bag of cursed items when you recovered our stuff at Cardinaval. So if you didn't put it back in my bag, then you could totally still have it. Cool. I'm pulling three animals out to hang out with tonight. <laughs> All right. Roll me 3d8. Two, three, and six. Two, three. Six might be a big one. Six, yeah. And do you also have the dogs? Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Two, three. We're not getting our six. security deposit back. <laughs> oh, God. That was... Let's see, you had... It's the gray bag. I, have, I actually have it in my inventory if you need me to Two say is what a, it is. Yeah, oh, no, I'm trying the, to remember their names. Uh, oh, okay, giant rat, badger, and a giant badger. Let's see, bacon was the boar, dire wolf was... No, I don't care. I don't care. And then, I think you did pull a badger last time, right? Yeah, there was Bucky. a badger. Bucky. Bucky. Bucky, Bucky, so Bucky does come back. Okay. I'm so glad I did not draw. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so Bucky shows up along with their older sibling, uh, a giant badger, and a giant rat also shows up. Uh, what's their names? So uh, the giant badger is just Big Bucky. Big Bucky? Big B? Big B. Yeah, that's a good one. Big B. For short, just to not to... Um, did the rat come out before? No, you've had bacon. I don't care. And Bucky, <laughs> bastard, bastard. Cool. They don't know what it means. <laughs> so Bucky, Big B, and Bastard <laughs> come up <laughs> into your uh, room, and they're not like traditional animals. They kind of have a gray monochrome almost as if they were like a resin figurine unpainted um before you but they still feel soft and cuddlyable just yeah just be like yeah hang out have some fun hi guys thanks for coming mm-hmm. no almost danger like, today <laughs> almost like a stuffed animal um role-playing session donovan just has <laughs> all of his animals <laughs> around him like a Donovan child. is regressing. He is regressing a <laughs> lot. Uh, and then I'm going to identify all of the magic items that I have. Cool. So the wand. The wand is a wand of enemy detection. Oh. Hey. Which I will. Wand. I should type in enemy. Wand of enemy detection. Yep. Which uh, has a number of charges. While holding it, you can use an action and expend one charge to speak its command word. For the next minute, you know the direction of the nearest creature hostile to you within 60 feet, but not its distant. That would have been handy to use uh, in the uh, in the Durgar fight. 
would have been handy to use a number of times. Don't use it right now, though. You're just going to get a ping from three doors down. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> can sense the presence of Let's hostile say. creatures. <laughs> Cool. Cool. I'm gonna. Uh, for now, I'm gonna add it to my inventory. Um, what other items are you identifying? Did you get the uh, necklace off of Elspeth? No. No. Nope. Um, I guess we gave the lantern back. Mm -hmm. Um, was that that was it? Right. That was the just dagger. The, oh yeah, the dagger. I'll identify the dagger. Yeah. So, how much time I have? It's a well-made dagger. It's a well-made dagger. Um, what you get the sense of is if you had psionic abilities, there could be more to it. Uh, does it count that we're still attuned to our uh, our psi crystals? Mm, that's true. Roll me an Arcana check. Okay. Need a new die <laughs> in the box. Yeah. Nine. Nine. You piece together that if you were to focus, you might be able to unlock some part of this. However, at the current moment and the current state of your uh, mental, your mental state, uh, the solution is not coming to you. Copy. But you get the sense if you took some time with it, maybe. Cool. And then I will go to bed after that. Cool. That leaves Elspeth. What you up to? Uh, Elspeth is sitting in her room. Despite taking the whole bottle, she's not actually like hard pounding it. She's just kind of sipping occasionally. Um, and she is just kind of, I think, just like sitting cross-legged on her bed, sort of once again, like not, probably not even actively like praying, but sort of kind of sitting and waiting to see if anything reaches out to any of her calls that she's pushed into the universe asking for help. <clears throat> just, you know. Anybody got some input here on what we can do about this? Mm -hmm. um, but she's just she's just kind of sitting. She's also musing a lot on the conversation with Donovan. Okay. Yeah. Anything else in particular for any folks? Eventually, at some point in the evening, Allie does come up and bring you all food. Um, yeah. Hear the scraping of his arm, the chest of drawers move in front of the door where she opens up. Mm -hmm. Slightly moving over the bear trap. Um, she just knocks slightly and just kind of places it on the uh, little, uh, what's it called? Side table. Side table, thank you. That is next to your bed. And just like, take your time and we'll, uh, yeah. And just closes the door behind, delivers to you, Donovan. And comes into all the animals and it's like, oh, well, um, hello. Uh, what's your name? As she points to the uh, large rat. Uh, that's bastard. Ah, he's a rat, bastard. <laughs> um, <laughs> Renner, Renner wakes from his death to go. Ugh. <laughs> 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 just, just goes back to goes <laughs> to being dead. Yeah. <laughs> Donovan, get away with this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Lays the food down, goes over to your room, Amoa, as you're carving your tray. Oh. Oh. Um. Hmm. 
I'm going to pretend I'm not seeing this. Why? Um, yeah, places the food down and just <laughs> goes out the room. And last but not least, Elspeth, she just walks in and Oh, uh, hi, sweetie. Uh, how's the, um, how's the, uh, whiskey? Very good. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Well, here's some stew for you, dearie, and... Thanks. Um, is, uh, Captain Argoleth still downstairs? Yes. Uh, she is walking, uh, Trovis, and they seem to be speaking. Ah, of course. Just checking. That's all. Thank you. For sure. Mm -hmm. Anything you wanted me to say to her, or just... No, no, just, um, seeing if she was still here, that's all. Mm. Well, um, enjoy, and downstairs if you need anything. Of course, thank you. Um, I'm not particularly <laughs> hungry. Maybe go put this at Donovan's door. I think he's got the dogs. They might want something. No, certainly. Um... You know, if you the alcohol will hit pretty hard if you and she just leaves the piece of bread there and takes the <laughs> bowl of stew. Elspeth just kind of looks at it and goes, "It wasn't a dry convent." Takes another sip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This evening, find you all. Czar laying on your bed, just rotating some pearls within your fingers. Elspeth, eventually the liquor just knocking you mm -hmm. out. Donovan surrounded like a child with a bunch of plushies, but large <laughs> animals. And Amoa eventually finding your carving sufficient, just beginning to lay on your bed before sleep takes you. I'd like to add that I add an A and a T at the, at the bottom of the image. Okay. You add an A-T. As you all find the darkness of sleep pulling over you, your bodies finally settling into a much needed rest, the soreness of the body as well as the heart just beginning to fade away as you go through the doors of sleep. And Elspeth, as you enter those familiar doors, you find yourself in a familiar hall, large columns shooting up into a ceilingless room, a wallless room, a floorless room, but familiar. Your feet clacking on the ground as if on hard marble. And you begin to see stairs that shoot upward up onto a throne, all very familiar, including the newest addition, a large block of ice protruding from the top. But what is new are the chains that envelop it. I'll walk up and just kind of look over it appraisingly. Mm -hmm. Redecorating? Yes, my child. I'm As not you your hear child. Hear a voice from behind. Hmm. Start to say that, catch myself, turn around. And as you turn, you see a tall, lithe figure, almost dressed in a black cloak that just kind of, almost as if part of the floor just kind of 
melds with it. And on its face, you see a skull. Well, surprises every time then. Yes. Do you wish to come down, child? You know, I'm not sure that I do at the moment. Hmm. There's something comforting about having the high ground at the moment. (laughs) And at that small chuckle, you watch as the figure just begins to extend from the ground up to your level. I height, but still a good 20 feet off of the ground. Do you still feel your comfort of high ground? I haven't been comfortable in a long time. Hmm. I see a uh, new guest has taken residence here. Well, you know, the open holes of death await all, don't they? Very true. You have knocked on the door quite a few times in recent memory. Yes, and every time been plucked right back. (laughs) And also you knock when you are not ready for what lies beyond. Is one ever really ready? Mm. No. I mean, we do see when it is a generality, but it comes when it comes. Was Rena ready? Hmm. Because that was the entire point of this. I thought, I thought I was going to be coming to your halls to find my father. Turns out he's not here, apparently. And now my friend is, and I couldn't do anything about it. That child's arrogance is what brought him here. Whether it was now or later, it was an eventuality in the way they lived. And I find a similar structure being built in you. Well, you know, you call out, you call out, you call out, you get nothing. You come to the doors again and again, hoping for help. You get nothing. Have I given you nothing? No. You've Is given the fact me... that you are able to help those around you not a sign that I am here? And yet... You've... Simply not being able to answer a simple call is enough to dissuade you, for you to lose faith, for you to, and points to the ice sculpture, find comfort in another. I have so many people who want to call me child. When do I get to grow up then? When you stop acting like one. What do you want me to do? Make a choice. Mm. 
Will you serve me? Or will you serve him? I don't know. Very well. Until you make that choice, let my lack of presence be a lesson. I'm glad we've had this talk, Elspeth Nigris. But there is someone that has been waiting at the doors for quite some time that needs some escorting. Would you like to see them off? Please. Walk with me. And as you begin to descend the stairs, this figure begins to shrink in size to be your height and leads you down these long column hallway until almost appearing from the shadows, a door and standing before the door, a silhouette of a figure about four feet in height, a little bit more, standing just looking up as this lithe figure moves slightly further ahead of you. The doors begin to creak open. And a bit of light just seems to shine through. And that light provides some visual into the other silhouette. And you do see a familiar face as it turns over their shoulder, Renner. Well, child, anything you wish to say? I didn't know. I could have, if I had just known, then I could have done something. Sorry. You may speak as well, child. Lady Elspeth, it was not your fault. How can you say that? If there has been anything that I have no, from being on land and experiencing life as a continental, it is seeing that the bonds that I family and the bonds that I friends are one and the same. And in a moment that I thought I was doing something right, In an ironic twist of fate, it was something wrong. And that's exactly what it was. Remember, Elspeth, the current goes where it goes. This was meant to be. And as much as I will miss every one of you, I am truly thankful for the gift that you have given me, which is the knowledge of what friendship can be. It was not your fault, Lady Elspeth. Do I get the chance? The doors continue to open wide. <laughs> it is time.
very few get to see what happens here. Elspeth Lindquist. Remember it. And as the dark cloak just kind of wraps over, almost like a curtain covering Rena, it drops and they are no longer there. The door gone. The lithe figure gone. And only sleep surrounds you. Morning comes to you all. As it does in Icewind Dales <laughs> at night. You shake off the sores of the body doing what you need to and eventually find your ways downstairs as you please. Do we get a long rest? You get a long rest. Even me? Mm-hmm. Okay. You do feel slightly hollow, I'll say. Like shit, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, when I wake up, is there any evidence that Imdra ever came to my room? There is not. Okay. Donovan, as you awake, you only find Jolly and Seven to keep you company. <laughs> oh, it's dawn, guys. Uh, let's head down for some breakfast. And I look around to see if they went to the bathroom anywhere. <laughs> um, as you open the door, they do seem to move with a bit of rush. Yes, uh, and I'll take them out mm -hmm. first. You do take them out. And Donovan, make me a uh, perception check. God, why do I keep rolling the die? I don't know. <laughs> eight eight okay uh, you are in your own world um as stars is going to be downstairs sipping on some tea she made herself mm -hmm. as just hot water that she used magic on yeah <laughs> um and as you are sipping tea you all do come down and notice that uh trovis is gone but Imdra has taken another one of the armchairs and just has a blanket draped over her, just sleeping at the moment. Elspeth starts to walk over and then stops herself and goes and sits on the other side of the room instead. Mm -hmm. Amo, will you make your way down? Um, yes. The last to come down, you all hear the creaking of the stairs as a moa <clears throat> um, appears before you all. Morning. Hey. Want some tea, Moa? Oh, yes, please. And just pour a, a, some hot water in a cup, pressed it to shade it to make it taste like something decent. <laughs> some peppermint with a little bit of ginger. Do that. You kind of see as Amoa takes a sip, his eyebrows kind of like, or his eyebrow kind of does this little look wiggle. It's like, mmm. Like delicious. Okay. And as you all convene at a table. Ali comes in with some food and well, um, we don't have much of it, but hopefully a little bit of a coffee will liven the spirits a bit. 
you would like yeah. any. So uh, thank thank you. Um, so I guess uh, we're we're. Did, did did you see a Triton come through here? Other than the one we were with. Oh, unfortunately, no. That would have that would have put a spark in the brain, but um, not currently, no. Okay. Uh Do we know anything about what Runner's sister was doing? Hmm. Did did Runner tell us anything about what he saw in the mirror? Uh, I believe offhandedly he did mention that um, Narthy was not with uh, her lover James, is and that is the person that uh, Renner looked for. I saw Rena last night. What? What? What do you mean? I have been having dreams where I enter the halls of Kelimvor. And last night they were there and let me see Rena off. Which is more kindness than I probably deserve from them, from the way I've acted. What do, you, what, what do you mean by saw him off? Into the halls beyond. We're not going to be able to bring him back. Not, not that we can't, but I think perhaps we shouldn't. Oh, what he asked you? Is that what he said? He said the current goes where it goes. Does, does that mean that's where he needs to go? Or do we him in the current i don't know much about triton burial practices it wasn't really covered in my practicum but i um it seems like he'd probably rather be in the water don't you think mm -hmm. i'm not gonna give them to those trout though oh no 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 that'd be terrible they're a bit uh, ironic, wouldn't it? James, how long would it take to walk to the Sea of Moving Ice, do you think? How many days? Ooh, buddy. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, let me pull up the map real quick. Uh, which one would it be? It would be... I should just always leave the map open. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> We're always going to come up with a question to ask you that requires the map. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, do they have markers for? Let's see. You get the sense that you could make it in, since you don't know the terrain well enough, but just if you were to beeline it. Yeah, straight like line. A, if it was a straight line and a flat track it could with the map that you have could take you three days because as long as we head generally northwest we're going to run into it eventually that would uh on the way back then we could be near lonely wood and look in the mirror it's true Maybe even stop there on the way. Maybe we'll have better luck with the moon. Be able to find some of what we missed the first time. Should well, we then it's settled.
yeah. put some some prize and start heading that way. Donovan, can I talk to you outside for a moment? Sure. Goes outside. Yeah, just just like just outside the door or something, not not far. And she's just gonna kind of lean against the the wall. I um you were right. About the the magic. It's got rather a sound um scolding last night. Is it, is it cursed? Probably. I don't think it's going to be as easy as just taking it off. But, Have um, you tried? Yeah, that's why I wanted you here. Uh, and she'll reach back and she'll like unclasp the amulet and try pulling it off. I'll take it. Actually, what is the casting time of identify? Who needs spell slots? <laughs> so it's, a, it's a whole minute. All right. Oh, if if you start to ritual cast, she'll just kind of put her hand like over yours if she sees her to cast and just goes, I can tell you what it does. But you're not okay. going to like it. Death isn't the only one I've been talking to of late. The L, the tiefling? More of a devil. Arch devil, technically. Which one? Levistus, keeper of the second circle. As best I can tell, at least. You said your, your father was looking for something. My about that. father used to hunt cultists, mostly dragon cultists trying to bring about the return of Tiamat, but he was known to dip over into other esoteric cults. That's where I heard the name. I didn't really know much about it. I know a bit more now, you might say. Do, is this all because of the necklace? I think that was the conduit. And um, what now? Well, I was told to make a choice who I served. And I said I didn't know. So now I make a choice and see what comes of it. And which one are you choosing? I don't think I can stay with all of you with that much as I think he'd be thrilled to give me a certain amount of power, which would be very helpful to try to prevent what happened from happening again. I think the price he asks might be too great for all of you to bear. I don't know it's going to be as easy as me just saying thanks, but no thanks, but death waits for us all. And I imagine they'll wait until I get my act together. Did you sign a contract? I don't physically. Did you agree? To anything? I told him what I wanted. I don't think he liked my answer, though. I 
I don't know how this this works. I mean, I've heard stories of contracts and I've read about rules of dealing with the Fae and that sort of thing. I've never dealt with a devil. They were uh, they were all around Waterdeep. Devil cults, several of them. Um, I think you had to sign a contract. I think there has to be a signed physical contract. <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I'll go to sleep tonight and have nothing but good dreams of soft snow and warm sun and no more of this. But in the meantime, I think we should destroy that. I think uh, if you can destroy it, that's a choice made. Yes. Then I'll see if I can start making amends where necessary. Don't tell Zara about this if you can help it. She's unlikely to forgive me as swiftly as anyone else. Not after all she's done to try to look after me. I'm not just saying this because you saved my life about six or seven times yesterday, but um, it only, it didn't look like anything other than a bad temper or a short temper. Well, so you hit it well or it wasn't that important? And hopefully that's all it has to be. The distant memory of a bad day. Thank you. And I uh, pull out the dagger, whatever <laughs> dagger that is, and hand it hilt over and go, maybe smash it with the hilt of this. All right. Might as well. Probably works better than Whatever I've got, she reaches at her bag and pulls out her like little baby mace that is the chosen weapon of clerics anywhere <laughs> for some <Yes>. reason. <laughs> like, oh, well, that would actually probably be much better. I mean, it's generally meant to be a bludgeoning weapon. I don't really use it because nobody really lets me get close enough to anything to hit them, which I'm not complaining about, to be perfectly honest. Um, maybe I'll just go to the back for a minute, see if I can deal with this and um No. No, right here. Oh, we're going to do it like that. All right. Okay. Yeah. It's fair enough. Uh, put the thing on the ground and I'm going <laughs> to use the dagger like a chisel and use the mace like a hammer and see if I can crack the thing. <laughs> First, I would like. <laughs> Which, Dagger's going to scream and I was going to say, Ow, is, it, is it charisma? I think it's charisma, right? First, I would like you to roll <laughs> just Arcana real quick. Yeah. Watch me continue making terrible life choices. Uh, that's a seven Arcana. Seven. Okay. Good. Magic good. items don't break, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> so you get Thanks for the heads up, Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> you get the mace ready and you're ready to bring down the chisel. Roll me an attack. Oh, okay. I think this is the first time I've used my mace this whole game. I don't usually because... Uh, oh, okay. So I have a negative strength modifier. Let me point that out up front. That's why I don't ever use my mace. However, I did just roll a natural 20. Hey, for a 19. For a well, plus two. Oh, so for a 21. Yeah. For a 21. Okay. Itch. Where'd it go? You probably should have let me do this by myself, Donovan. You know, you're going to also get hit with Cursed Shard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't forget, you have your uh, 10 points from the Morning Ward, by the way. Um, oh, thank you. Ooh. Thank you for that. As you come did, down... Did Renner get those 10 points? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, As you come down oh, and damn. strike this amulet with the dagger acting as a chisel 
you bring it down and as you do ice shards just yep. shoot out from it and both of you will take a uh, good old 17 points of cold damage Ooh. Amoa and Azari. where precisely are they doing this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right They're outside doing it at the front door. Right next to the front door because Donovan Jesus wouldn't Christ. let me go to the back. Everybody's got rooms, but y'all are trying to be exhibitionists. So like standing out in front of the inn trying to chisel a, a, a hard crack. <laughs> I'm not trying to chisel. I was trying to shatter it, which it sounds like I at least partially succeeded. Yeah. Yeah. But as you bring this back, <laughs> the ice magical um just seems to dissipate and you just see the amulet still there well of course it's not going to be that easy <laughs> but it but you're not wearing it no i'm not i'll put it in the bag of cursed items and hopefully it'll just um She'll just reach into a pocket, pull out a handkerchief, and wrap it up, kind of like we did with <laughs> all the other bullshit that we didn't want to touch. And she'll just tuck it into her bag, just kind of shrug. I'm sure we can figure something out at some point. Just add it to my list of things I need to study, I guess. <laughs> now we should... That was a decision made, though. Whether or not you destroy the amulet. Gods, I hope so. I think I need to go in and apologize to a handful of people for my short temper. You know, while Amor and Azar are having a lovely cup of tea together. <laughs> Pink is up, baby. Pink is up. Pink Such is a up, good morning. And all of a sudden, what? <laughs> Here. Oh, pop, oh, pop. Oh. Let's, let's push Push the chair back. Why slowly? Just <laughs> start walking toward the door. Do we just come back in and we were just like we just got like blood dripping off of like yeah. cuts? It's like no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> what did you? What happened? A accident with something breakable. I I suggested a very bad decision, but. But again, you probably knew that. No, don't, yeah. Donovan, Donovan, you don't need to. T- that was that was me. It was my bad decision this time. <laughs> Apologies. You no, know, I I know you can't break magic items. I don't know why I. Uh, what magic just items? Did you try? I. We were trying to figure out what this dagger did, called of the dagger, and uh, we thought we'd try to use it <laughs> to. The point of which is most definitely snapped off. <laughs> <laughs> it does not. Magic items don't break, as we've learned today, apparently. Why would you want to break it? We were just testing to see if we could figure out what it did, and um, we were a little... It's a knife. You stab things with it. What did you stab with it? The ground? It's frozen. It was a bad choice. And you, you're correct. I should not do that, and I will proceed not to in the future. Donovan, did you want this back? Sure, sure. Look I mean, I could put it in the bag too with everything else. No, no, okay. no. There's there's something about this. Just be careful. Just like go back to the table. <laughs> yeah. Sitting the tea is like, yeah, these people are just trying to kill themselves. It's fine. It's this fine. This time, uh-huh. Elspeth <laughs> will go over and sit in another one of the other chairs by the fireplace near Imbra. Mm-hmm. This is what happens. When you try to make choices with a, on an empty stomach, <laughs> this is why breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But you two loons decide <laughs> to step outside and be idiots. And then I go to Azar, can I have another cup of tea, please? Of course. <laughs> my poor my cup. Um, do you like lemon this time? Oh, yes, please. Right. And as you all <laughs> begin to settle in... <laughs> That bond, as Renner said, of how family and friends are the same, are reawakened here at the Northern Light. That's where we're going to end today. Fun episode, y'all. Fun episode. Some God... 
goddamn good role playing. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go into our after dark vid or a special, which um, we just talk about the episode and all that. Um, and you can catch those on our Patreon. Thank you again so much for supporting us here on Twitch and later on on the YouTubes, on Discord, on Patreon or wherever you get your fine, fine podcasts. Thank you so much. Uh, just a reminder that Swords and Sages will be going back to virtual, or not going back to, will be again being virtual for now due to the new mask mandates um, at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Call of Cthulhu Down Darker Trails continues ever on. I don't know what insanity is going to ensue, but it literal insanity will happen. Um, Cool. We'll be back here next um, Saturday. I believe we have a different time because Thomas, you have a thing. It is 12. Yes, we're going to be yeah, 12, 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Okay, we'll be 12 p.m. Slightly shorter episode. We do have a hard out for so. some folks, um, but it will be ever more interesting. Who knows? Maybe we'll meet Matt's new character. Um, but until Mark, then, it's Mark. Everyone is Mark. <laughs> so we're spoilers. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I shot you with the crossbow. I don't know why. Hi, Mr. Stark. I was wondering where are you guys coming from. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Did you? Yo, the Spider-Man ride at Disneyland. That is an arm workout, y'all. Well, um, bad. Not all of us have done it yet, James. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, Speaking it's of like spoiler Toy alert. Story Mania, but instead of a plunger, you use your oh, arm. Stop, stop! That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you all so much, and we will catch you all next week, but until then, stay safe, loves. Stay loving, and we'll <laughs> see you all next week. Bye. Bye.